What up, y'all? It's your boy Chance, also known as Demon King Virus from Bloodshot Records or Demon King Shadowblade from Neatland Records, Killer Clown Sounds. You already know who it is. But I thought I'd make this video to kind of show y'all how I go about making, you know, my beats, the process. And basically what I go through, because every day I get told that I'm a fake, that, you know, that basically I sample my shit, but I'm about to prove y'all wrong right now that I do not sample my shit. I build my beats from the ground up, and I'm about to show y'all how I do it right now. Because quite honestly, I'm getting tired of being told that I sample my shit when I don't. Like, it's really getting on my damn nerves. Yo, what up, Eric? What's going on, brother? But uh, what I'm going to do, man, is I'm going to show y'all just how I do what I do. And this also is going to be kind of like a tutorial for you beginner artists or you beginner producers that, you know, are looking to you know, make beats. I'm going to show y'all how to do it ground up. Um, as you can see, I'm going through Soundtrap, which I highly recommend for both recording and beat making. It's really good. Um, I use it all the time. Like, this is my go-to studio right here. Like, if y'all don't know, this is where I record all my shit at is Soundtrap. I highly recommend it, like, for anyone. Like, whether you're new to music, whether you're very experienced, Go through soundtrack, they're definitely worth it. But uh, to start things off, as you can see, I got the BPM down here at the bottom set at 87. Uh, most of the time it's set at 120, but I lowered it down to 87 because we're doing a hip hop slash rap beat. We're not doing a dubstep track. So I'm going to start you off with something simple. Um, as you can see, I got my heavy. You know, I got my heavy kick here. I'm throwing a snare, see how that sounds. I got a nice little beat going there. Let's try throwing on a little bit of hi hat. And if you guys do want to use this beat as a sample, let me know and I will definitely throw that in. Like if you guys want to use this, let me know and I'll mix it down and I'll send it to you if you guys want it. I will be selling beats too. I'll be doing ten, a pack of 10 for $10. 10 random simple beats like this for 10 bucks if y'all want to use it. All right, now we got that. We definitely don't want a hi-hat open. All right, so let's see what we have here. Definitely don't want to crash. Let's try to ride. A ride usually sounds pretty good with stuff like this. So I'm going to try doing a ride every other thing here. Alright, since that didn't sound good. Let's try a pedal hat. Oh yeah, you know what? Let's do that all the way across because that does sound good. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and I'm going to loop that 
up to about right here. Up to about All right, now that we have that, now add a little bit extra. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and I'm thinking, you know, I was going with my personal favorite, go with the string section. You know, let's crank the volume up on that. That don't sound right. I mean, I like it, but not what I was expecting for that particular set. So, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to change out instruments here by deleting that track. And we're going to go into play synth again. Oh, there we go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this back. Yeah, there we go. Now that sounds good. Alright, so let's record this. Now that we got that, let's run this up just a little more, and let's play this monster back. As you can kind of tell, it kind of messed up a little bit there, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of a lot of this and just be like this. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to loop this all the way through here. Just like that, so it lines up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of this little low point right here. Since we don't really need that. And now I'm just going to do like this. Let's turn the metronome off. That's something I forgot to do earlier. Let's turn the metronome off. And there it's going. That's how you make a simple, just your typical beat. And this also is proof to those of you that don't believe that 
I got a sample of my work. Here's your proof right here. Every beat that I do, I do from the ground up straight off of here. I add effects to make it work. I add everything I do on my own. Um, if I don't use this, I'll use BandLab, which is basically just like this. You can literally do the exact same thing. The only difference between Soundtrap and BandLab is BandLab, you don't have a certain amount of time to use things. You don't have to pay for a premium membership or anything like that. But if you're going to record, definitely, definitely use Soundtrap. Their quality for recording is astonishingly amazing. Like, it comes out very professional. It's very good. I highly recommend them. I mean, I do recommend Van Lab too, like especially for all my class artists out there who love to do classical work like myself. You know, I definitely recommend that, like for sure. Like, not ripping on Van Lab one bit. I recommend Van Lab entirely to anyone within the music industry, but I definitely recommend, you know, Soundtrap for, you know, your recording purposes fully. Yo, Morris, what's up, man? Eric, what's good, brother? But, um, you know, this is, like I said, you know, this is basically how I do my beats. Um, you know, like, it's, it's simple stuff. And just to kind of mess with it a bit, I am going to take it up to about, let's take it up to 90. Just to hear how it sounds at 90 BPM. Eh, take it back down to 87. It doesn't sound right on 90. Sounds like some freaking crack trap written bullshit. There we go. Now, one effect that I do like to add to this is I'll usually go to this right here. And then I'll add like a simple like distortion of Like that right there, I'll usually do like an overdrive effect. Give it that little bit of, you know, craziness. You see how it kind of echoes out a little bit. do is I'm gonna take that distance I'm doing gonna crank up the volume on this just a tad crank up that tone let's play this back here how it sounds all right since that don't sound right what I'm gonna do You know, it's had a little bit of flanger in there. There we go. That's what I was needing. Now, if you guys would like this beat, let me know. Um, I will be putting this beat up for purchase as well. Um, it won't have the bell. Well, it might have the bell. But first, I want to see what else we got up on here to use. Uh, as you can tell, like, all these, that's like I was saying, this is what I was talking about with um, Soundtrap. They do give you a one-month 
uh, free premium membership trial before you have to upgrade. But I don't upgrade. I don't see any point in it. I could just go over to BandLab and do the same shit completely free for making beats. So what I'll do is I'll take the beat and I'll take it over to BandLab, do the stuff to it, bring it back to Soundtrap, and then go from there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to replay this back with the super string. I'm not digging that super string too much. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. That's going to sound good. And then what I'll do is I'll do like this. And I turn the loop back on. It's interesting. Like, I do like the ugly stab for some stuff, just not for that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head over to pads. Ooh, pads ought to sound nice. I like those 80s. Now let's randomize it. Alright, so what I'm going to do is, since that don't want to work right now,
I may just have to record some shit here, y'all. That was sounding hot. Let's, let's play that back here, how it sounds. Ooh, ooh, yo, that is dope. Sick. Alright, let's rename this. And there you guys go, man. An outer space alien type hip hop beat for you guys. But uh, if you guys would like to purchase this beat, let me know. It'll be on my C. Wilkins art official site where I'll be selling, you know, packs of 10 beats for 10 bucks. So if y'all want to, you know, go in, purchase it, buy it, whatever, you know, let me know and we'll talk business. But with that being said, guys, this has been your boy Chance, aka Demon King Fibers from Bloodshot Records. Or DJ Shadowway from Killer Clown Sounds, or from Neatland Records, Demon King Blade. Again, guys, if you want to purchase a pack of 10 beats, it's 10 bucks through me directly, no bullet. You purchase the beats, um, they will be tagged because I am going to be putting my tags on them until you guys purchase them. Or if you want to, like, like, see, I don't do that whole thing. Like, if you guys want to, you know, purchase beats flat out, let me know. I don't do that whole, you know, leasing bullshit. I don't believe in that. I make beats, I sell beats. I don't do this fucking leasing, you know, fucking borrowing bullshit. No. You buy a beat... You, at that point, own that beat. That's how I do it. You buy the beat, you buy the pack that are yours to use however you want. And so, starting tomorrow, there will be beats up on my site, which I will actually be posting in the, like, I'll be posting stuff up about it here in the next couple of days, but, um, Anyway, y'all, this has been your boy Chance on how to produce and make beats from the ground up like I do. So with that being said, much love, y'all, and I'll catch y'all later, man. Peace.